Haven't said this in a while. Elbros Film here with a Transformers animated video review. This time we're looking at the Deluxe Class Toys R Us exclusive RC. I have been waiting so long for her to finally be available in my area because I checked Toys R Us had to be at least two months ago and they only had Cybertronian mode Ratchet. Um, which I would get, but I'm saving up for Leader Class, Starscream, the War for Cybertron guys, some other generations, and uh, Hunt for Decepticons figures. So, um, as you can see, we have cross promotions for very old figures. Um, and the only other animated figure I will be buying is Rodimus Prime, Rodimus Minor, whatever they're going to call him, um, who is also going to be a Toys R Us exclusive. Uh, RC and Cybertron Mode Ratchet are the spring exclusives, so... Rodimus and Ironhide, I believe, will be the um, fall exclusives. So, you know, don't want to dwindle around the bush for too while. Is that how they say that? Be beat around the bush. I don't want to beat around the bush for too while here, but um, this is RC. You know, first animated figure since I do believe it was Retgar, who I got last April in the mail from eBay. So this is the first animated figure I bought in a store, I do think, since Swoop. So, and again, only other animated figure I'll be getting is Rodimus Minor. So, out of the box she comes. And here is RC in her Cybertronian car mode. Now, I don't think the... It's a Cybertronian car. Uh, I don't think that the Takara version is different than this, because I know the Takara version just came out. But... You know, I don't think it's drastically different than this. I don't know. That, that was just on my mind for some reason, just to get that out of the way. But as you can see, it is a pink, white, and gold futuristic Cybertronian race car. Uh, very G1 accurate. I mean, the only thing I think may be more G1 to RC than this is a um, Fans Project exclusive that is coming out soon. Good lord, look at all the dust. I obviously haven't done a review in over two months with Revenge of the Fallen Mindwipe was my last review, right? Right? Yeah, so. The wings do um, pop off here. They're, they don't stay on too tight to begin with. I don't like those wings. They're just kind of a waste. The, the wings do look nice for the vehicle mode because now, as you can see, it looks kind of plain. So I'm going to leave those on. But in robot mode, they're really... They jut out, like, unnecessarily... Like, too big. The four wheels she's got, I like the way they look. They're kind of like, I don't know, reminds me of a sport race car. See, there they go. And she does roll. The swords here are in the back, the blue swords. And I did turn her, ah, stupid wing. I did turn her head around, so now she's looking at the back of her vehicle mode. But I guess I could tilt that down, so. And... Nope, she won't roll, because the way the way she was boxed, her head was flipped the other way, and you can actually see it through her arms here, which is a complaint, because this, this back here is too hollow, so I guess use the wings to cover that up. But these are the swords back here. It's funny. Um, I guess they could be like exhaust, kind of, not really, but that's about it for car mode, so let's transform her. You just want to start by taking the wings off. And uh, I'm going to start here by lifting up the cockpit, taking the legs down and around, folding in these leg pieces here, which were the hood of the car, flip up the feet, and turn the, tur turn the legs around at the hip here. And if we turn the whole figure around, uh, how do I do this? Oh, yeah. Gotta start over here, take the arms, unpeg the hands from these pegs on the back of the car here, flip her shoulder pads back around, bring her arms out, get her head into position, turn the waist around, get her holster things on the side here, I don't know what those are supposed to be, get those down, get her arms into position here, your neck back, and then just take the cockpit up and just, I guess that's how it's supposed to stay. And 
There's RC in robot mode. I have not done a transformation that simple. That I mean, that's crazy simple. That transformation. Uh, you know, the head sculpt is very, very Generation One accurate. I mean, very. You don't get much closer than that. Uh, it's highly articulated on a ball joint here. Uh, look up, down. Her arms can move in and out of the body there, at the shoulder, ball jointed shoulder, and at the elbow, which is quite very far there. And she does actually have swivel in her hands right here. We can have her like that. Uh, she does have upper torso articulation. And, oh no, I thought that was a separate joint at the waist, but she does have upper torso articulation under this molded piece, which is obviously supposed to be her <coughs> boobies. Uh, her legs can move forward, backward, in and out from the body if you move her holsters out of the way. Uh, bend at the knee, rotate at the hip, and uh, the feet can pivot to some degree. Now, again, the wings in robot mode are absolutely unnecessary. I'll put them back on here, and you can see just how ridiculous they look. I mean... That is, I mean, RC had back kibble to begin with, the, their shoulder pads, but th that's unnecessary. That's, again, I'm liking the way the wings look in vehicle mode, but not in robot mode, not at all. Tilt back down there. Oh, not tilting down, I see. But anyway, you can take the swords out. And then before when I was messing around with it, the swords weren't going in. But then I realized you actually have to, you have to force them in there. Pretty hard, but that they'll stay. And then just clip them into your, her, into her hands here, and there you go. You've got blue energy, uh, uh, energon swords. It's scary, you know. I don't want to break the plastic, but there we go. But yeah, RC's ready to kick butt. I mean, she's is it's a, it's a good looking figure. I mean. Uh, Hasbro and Takara really did a nice job capturing not only RC from Animated, but also RC from G1. Uh, so if you want a displayer with the G1 collection, I mean, that's perfectly fine. You know, she really looks like a G1 figure uh, because of how basic it is. I mean, just straighten her limbs. I mean, you know, if you want to display her with G1 figures, just straighten her limbs out a little bit and kind of hide some of the articulation there you go I do notice some paint apps that I don't like that are missing um, her lipstick is missing part of the white collar around her neck here is missing and um, the black outlights around her eyes are definitely missing and some stuff back here for the light piping, but that's alright, because she has brilliant light piping. I don't think Reaper Labels has a set out for her yet. Uh, they might have something in the future. I know uh, Vangelis had pointed out how to uh, get her black stuff around the eyes. I don't think I necessarily want to unscrew the, the back of her head. So I'm going to wait and see if Reaper Labels comes out with something. But it doesn't really bother me as much as I... I'm thinking about it, but really, I mean, this looks good for posing. I mean, this is a really nice figure. Uh, definitely, if you can find her, because my Toys R Us did not have her until now when I checked, and it's already June, and they had Cybertron Mode Ratchet back in, I do believe, April. So, and there were only about two, three left. Of course, they had about 10, 15 Cybertron Mode Ratchets left. So, obviously, who's the more popular figure out of the duo? So, if you can find her, definitely pick her up. I mean, it's a worthy figure. I mean, this is a great, great figure, great representation of RC. Very faithful. Real quick as a uh, size comparison here. Here she is with Revenge of the Fallen RC. And for anyone wanting to know, I'm not getting Chromia. I'm not getting Alita 1, mainly because Alita 1 is just a deco, a redeco of Chromia. So... These are the only two fembots I see myself getting. So RC and RC. Uh, Elbrose Film, signing off. Great figure. Pick her up. Little bastard, get in there.